Hi, on this video I will show you how I did the evil bunny ears. If you haven't seen the makeup tutorial, you can check it down in the info box where I will have a link. To do the bunny ears, I used a foam, an iron, a pen, scissors and also a spoon. So the first thing I did was cut the parts that I wanted and I started heating the ears. So I started with the top and I'm heating them uh, both sides from the front and also the back and I'm shaping it with the pen and also my fingers. Be careful not to burn yourself. Also, do not heat again the parts that you have already shaped because the Eva foam will go back to its original form. So just separate a little bit the parts that you don't want to heat again and then start shaping. It will shape better if it, the Eva foam is really hot. So just again, be careful not to burn yourself. After I have the shape that I want, I'm going to turn that over and I'm starting to heat the other side so I can shape the center. I'm just heating out the middle and with a spoon I'm shaping it, giving it a hollow effect. After I have everything shaped, I will start painting it. I'm using aqua colors. I'm using the same aqua colors I used on the makeup and I'm doing a wash of color because I don't want the ears to be completely white but I don't want them to be gray. Also the pink that I'm using, I don't want it to be this strong pink. I just want it to have like a wash of colors. So I'm just, you know, painting it and before it dries, I'm taking a tissue and I'm removing the paint. And I'm doing this several times just because I want some parts that to have a stronger color than in others. So I'm just painting and removing with the tissue. The parts that I want to have a stronger color, I'm not watering the paint down, I'm just painting that um, the way I want so it will create uh, some depth. I'm blending the colors but I'm still leaving like this roughness because I want them it to look like it has hairs. So that's why I'm just going back and forth so it will appear to have like hairs. Now I'm using a black and I'm still, you know, painting and removing a little bit of that paint with the tissue. But on the edges, I'm just using the black because I really want the gray to stand out, if you know what I mean. After both ears are painted and they look uh, similar, I'm using an old hairband and some wire and I'm just wiring the hairband. And then I will be gluing the Eva ears to the hairband with super glue. Be careful not to stick your fingers because it will hurt afterwards. <laughs> And just I'm just gluing that to make them steady and then I will be gluing the back of the ears with the um, wire so they will be steady and they will not move or be fluffy since this was only to film a tutorial from the front I didn't you know cover the back but if you want to do this for a costume I would suggest that you cover the back uh, so they will look more like ears because people will be looking to you from the back so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching take care bye